वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स इट्स योर सेकेंड लेक्चर फ्रॉम द बुक ऑफ फाइनेंशियल अकाउंटिंग योर टूडेज टॉपिक इज एनालाइजिंग ट्रांजेक्शन वट इज ट्रांजेक्शन ट्रांजेक्शन इज ए मॉनिटरी इवेंट विच बिंग्स चेंजेस इन फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ पार्टीज सो ऑल द फाइनेंशियल इवेंट्स और यू कैन से द इवेंट्स विच आर मॉनिटरी इन नेचर विल बी रिकॉर्डेड क्रोनोलॉजिकली ऑन द डेली बेसिस and such events are the transactions of business each financial statement item called an account is included in the ledger now students ask a question which is very much pertinent what is ledger a group of accounts for a business entity is called a ledger or you can say all the accounts are kept in a book and the name of that book is ledger book in other words it is a book of all books or you can say it is a mother book where all where all accounts are kept a list of accounts in a ledger is called a chart of accounts next major accounts classification on the left side of your screen assets and on the right side of your sequence is liabilities assets are resources owned by the business few examples from the assets side cash supplies building accounts receivable few examples from liabilities accounts payable notes payable and wages payable liabilities are often identified on the balance sheet by titles that include payable so we use word for the liabilities payable major account classifications here comes first owners equity is the owners right to the assets of the business revenues are increases in owners equity as a result of selling services or products so it is also called as gain of the business next to that expenses are the using up of assets or consuming of services to generate revenues to assist you in learning an account can be shown to resemble the letter t it means that we use a t alphabet to express the account that's why it is called t account so here comes the sketch of a, a t account and this is the first t account for your convenience the named cash account so on the top there is a title of that account and title is cash the left side of that t account is called debit side the right side of cash account is called credit side now a few transactions entered in cash account on the left side we have few figures 3750 4300 5000 and 900 and on the other side which is right side 850 and so on so these are you can see a typical entries we record in cash account next important task for the accountant is to balance these t accounts now here is a first step towards balancing or you can say totaling the account now left side which is debit side is advised to total first so first foot the debit side now you can see the total of left side is 10950 next to that foot the credit side the total of credit side is 5850 so you have both sides total total of 
left hand side and total of credit hand side total of debit side is 10950 and total of uh, right hand side is 5850 so subtract the total which is bigger which is uh, debit side total from the lesser side which is credit side you will get the balance and here comes your balance that is 2900 so after deducting the lesser side total from the bigger side total you will get the balance and here comes the balance is 2900 and you will get the balance on the lesser side which is clear from your screen next is transactions and balance sheet accounts now here is a sketch from the journal which is called day book or also called as a chronological book or daily book we daily basis or you can say on day basis record all the monetary transactions in that specific book which is journal the word journal came from jor which is a latin word so here is a sketch now you can see uh, this journal is divided into columns the very first column that belongs to the date on the top of date we mention the year next to the year, year month and date after that column there is a descript description column next is reference column next to reference column there is a debit column and credit column as well as now looking deeply uh, this journal format the first line which is uh, very close to the date side on the left side that gives you the indication of those aspect of transaction which is going to be adapted and next to that that line actually which is flush towards the right side that explains the another aspect of transaction which is a credit aspect so debit aspect will be recorded first and credit aspect will be recorded next after that you see a third line which is a narration line which gives you a short short description of your transaction so in this uh, transaction we recorded cash on the debit side and we recorded the investment of owner on the credit side named capital a fact of uh, that particular transaction in the ledger will be shown in this way taking you once again back to the journal so two accounts are affected by this particular transaction first one is cash and second one is capital so once again come to the ledger picture first t account is of cash and second t account is of capital so cash is debited with 25000 and capital is credited with 25000 next transaction which is on 5th of november land is debited with a specific amount and uh, cash is credited with that specific amount both debit amount and credit amount should be similar one so here comes the effect of that transaction which we have recorded earlier in the journal what will be the effect of that transaction in ledger cash will be credited with the 20000 and simultaneously the amount of 20000 will be debited in the land t account next transaction which belongs to the november 10 
suppliers are debited and accounts payable are credited it means we bought supplies on credit basis how this transaction will be shown in a ledger account supplies will be debited with 1350 and accounts payable will be credited with that specific amount with a similar amount another transaction of number 30 accounts payable are debited and cash is credited so look at this transaction on general cash is being credited on 30th of November with 950 and accounts payable are debited with 950 on November 30. Rules of debit and credit. These rules are normally called golden rules. Asset accounts when increase are debited always. On the other side, when assets account are decreasing, will be credited. On the other side, liabilities behave differently opposite to the accounts. When liabilities decrease, they are debited. And when liabilities increase, they are credited. In the same way, owner's equity, when there is decrease in owner's equity it will be debited and when there is increase in owner equity it will be credited now have a snapshot of balance sheet accounts once again assets on the left side liabilities and owner's equity on the right side of your screen look at first assets accounts debit for increase in assets and credit for decrease in assets Liabilities, debit for decrease in liabilities and credit for increase in liabilities and in similar, similar way, owner's equity or you can say capital behaves. So here comes 18th November transaction. Cash is debited with a specific amount and in the same way fees earned is credited with that amount. How this transaction expressed in ledger account so here comes ledger account cash is debited with 7500 and fee earned is credited with 7500 so dear students <clears throat> all the expenses which are incurred by this organization throughout the year throughout the month or you can say are debited wages expense will be debited first rent expense will be debited next and utility expenses or miscellaneous expenses so all these expenses are debited and cash with <clears throat> total amount 3650 will be credited how these uh, transactions affect on uh, ledger accounts you can see from here the effects of all these transactions on relevant T accounts, cash account, wages, expense account, rent expense account, utilities accounts, and miscellaneous expense account. All these are shown with the blue digits. Next, now here comes 30th November transaction, uh, which reveals that 800 value of supplies has been used so those supplies which have been used or consumed will be debited with the name of supplies expense and supplies which is your asset will be credited with that specific amount now a very significant concept regarding the financial accounting that concept is called double entry concept or double entry accounting this was given by luca what is double entry concept recording the transaction double entry accounting is based on a simple concept each party in a business transaction will receive something 
and give something in return. In bookkeeping terms, what is received is a debit and what is given is a credit. The T account is a representation of a scale or balance. Now from the scale or from the account, you can understand easily. On the receiving side there is a debit or on the giving side is credit. <clears throat> and while we express this concept uh, in a T account, you can see on the left side, which is the receive side is debit and right side, which is the give side is credit. The rules of debit credit regarding income accounts. Expense accounts and revenue accounts. Debit for increase in expense and credit for decrease in expense. On the other side, credit for increase in revenue or income and debit for decrease in revenue or income. Here comes income statement accounts, which are revenue accounts and expense accounts. There will be a decrease when in revenue it will be debited and when there is increase in revenue it will be credited and vice versa as far as expense is concerned. So when the owner is going to withdraw money from the business, in normal accounting terms, it is called drawings. How that drawing will be expressed in the ledger account, the 2000 amount will be shown on the drawings account on the debit side and in cash account it will be shown on the credit side it shows there is a decrease in asset which is cash and there is increase in drawing expense which is on the debit side here comes normal balances of account increase or decrease balance sheet items assets liability owners equity named as capital and drawing <clears throat> when there is an increase in asset it will be debited and when there is a decrease in asset it will be credited opposite to the asset liabilities and equity are when there is an increase in liability it will be credited and when there is a decrease in liability it will be debited so is the case with the capital Next is drawing. When there is an increase in drawing, it will be debited, and when there is a decrease in drawing, it is credited. Next comes income statement accounts. Two accounts are very much pertinent. One is the revenue account, and other one is the expense account. When there is increase in revenue or income, you can say it will be credited, and when there is a uh, decrease in revenue, it will be debited. So is the case with the expense. When there is an increase in expense, it will be debited. And when there is a decrease in expense, it will be credited. So this is all about from the analysis of transaction. Inshallah, more you will get in the coming videos, in the coming lectures. God bless you.